Hello, and welcome to this virtual workshop, Integrating ENCODE Data with Your Research, an interactive survey of ENCODE data and resources. This video is an introduction to Section 1, the ENCODE portal. To give you a brief overview of the workshop as a whole and the other videos you can explore, the three sections are focused on 1. The ENCODE portal, which is the repository and interface for ENCODE data presented by the DCC, 2. Screen, a web-based visualization tool for ENCODE annotations such as candidate CIS regulatory elements presented by the DAC, and 3. Juicebox, a genome browser tool for visualizing 3D chromatin contact data such as hi c by the Aiden Lab. So let's dive into Section 1. What is ENCODE? ENCODE stands for Encyclopedia of DNA Elements. The ENCODE Consortium is an international collaboration funded by the National Human Genome Research Institute at the U.S. National Institutes of Health, and its goal is to catalog all functional elements in human and select model organism genomes, such as mouse. For further information about the different grants and previous phases of ENCODE, you can take a look at the project page on genome.gov, linked at the bottom of this slide. We are currently in Phase 4 of ENCODE, and to give you an idea of the scope of this project, this map shows the labs throughout the U.S. belonging to the ENCODE Consortium. An essential aspect of the project is to make all of this data freely available as a resource to the scientific community, including generating tools to interact with the data. This is the job of the Data Coordination Center, or DCC, and the data is made available on a platform called the ENCODE Portal. To briefly describe what that process looks like, first, Labs produce next-generation sequencing data and provide this to the DCC. The DCC applies standards to adhere to FAIR principles, which focus on making the data findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Additionally, the DCC processes the raw data on uniform pipelines in order to generate process results with minimal artifacts. This can take multiple iterations, and labs communicate with the DCC throughout this process. Once the standards are met, the raw and processed data is made publicly available on the ENCODE portal, which allows anyone to download data they're interested in, either through the website user interface or programmatically through the REST API. These results comprise the encyclopedia, and here is a simple diagram explaining the life cycle of the genomic data in this process. Labs produce data, and this is processed to produce ground-level annotations, which indicate regions such as transcription start sites, DNA's hypersensitivity sites, and transcription factor or histone peaks. These data are then used by the Data Analysis Center, or DAC, to generate integrative-level annotations to determine chromatin states and regulatory regions such as promoter-like or enhancer-like elements. These elements can be browsed through an interface called Screen, discussed in detail in Section 2 of this workshop. These elements and others are now used by labs new to the fourth phase of ENCODE called Functional Characterization Centers. These labs validate the activity of the elements with new assays, and this data is also made available through the portal. Here you see the home page for the ENCODE portal, which you can access using the URL at the bottom of the slide, encodeproject.org. The remaining modules in this section will teach you more about the portal and how to explore these resources. The modules of this section are listed here. After this introduction video, the next modules are self-contained and can be viewed out of order to suit your needs. Here are brief descriptions of each. The portal content module will go into greater detail about the breadth of publicly available experiments and data. Portal navigation modules will explain how to use the portal interface to browse our available experiments and understand the layout of individual experiment pages. The portal data collections module will focus on our pages for specific collaborations or research efforts. Basic and advanced query building will teach you how to use our metadata to apply filters for the experiments you're interested in and how to access and download the data programmatically. Ontologies describes some of the controlled vocabularies with relationships between terms that we integrate into our system for consistency with the research community. And lastly, CARTS, which will teach you how to collect and save your experiments and files of interest for easier downloading and sharing. Thank you for your interest in ENCODE data. After going through the other modules in Section 1, please take a moment to fill out our survey. We'd love to get your feedback and are always looking for ways to make the ENCODE portal a better resource. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at encode-help at lists.stanford.edu.